artificial intelligence has been around for decades, we're now learning how it impacts our daily lives at home and work. From using a cell phone's voice command to self checkout at the store or even using GPS on a trip. Today, students, researchers held a roundtable at ECU about AI advancements. News 12's Chris Young was there. He joins us now live outside the Student Center in Greenville with the takeaways. Well, Tyler, experts in AI gathered here at the ECU Student Center to discuss the future of AI. And while some people may be concerned, the aim of the seminar was to educate the public on how it works. AI is everywhere, like on your phone or laptop, and even household devices like an Alexa. One speaker, ECU's executive director of the Office of National Security and Industry, Keith Wheeler, says AI is not as big of a threat as people may think. One of the things we're um, trying to help people understand is that AI is a technology, just like any other technology uh, in industries that have been developing over centuries. It's a new tool. A tool used in your daily life, and soon it may be used in multi-million dollar businesses like cybersecurity. It's an idea that doesn't sit well with ECU professor Eric Reifschneider, who came to the roundtable seminar. I'm here to find out if we are witnessing the birth of Skynet and what we're going to do to try to keep that from happening. Skynet, the evil AI from the Terminator franchise, is what some people like Eric picture when they hear artificial intelligence. Opinions like these are why Director Wheeler tells me they have this roundtable seminar. We want to help explain to folks that these tools can be used to make their jobs better, to make them more efficient, to, to solve things quicker and things like that. Rather than take jobs away, member of the Defense Alliance of North Carolina, Phil Williams, says it could be the complete opposite. So I think there'll be more jobs for those that have the interest and the passion to follow that path. At the end of the round table, there was a discussion period for everyone to come together and share their thoughts. Live in Greenville, I'm Chris Young with News 12. All right, Chris.